Riso DTU National Laboratory for Sustainable Energy, Danish, Riso DTU National Laboratoriet for Bereditic Energy was a scientific research organization north of Roskilde, Denmark. The Riso DTU organization was founded in 1956 and dissolved on 1 January 2012. The location is now known as DTU Riso Campus and the buildings are home to a number of institutes under the Technical University of Denmark DTU and separately is also home to Aarhus University Department of Environmental Science and part of Department of Bioscience. Riso covers an area of more than 2.6 square kilometers. Topic Organization From the first of January two thousand and eight, it was made an institute of the Technical University of Denmark DTU. On 1 January 2007, the Technical University of Denmark merged with the Danish Institute for Food and Veterinary Research, the Danish Institute for Fisheries Research, Danish National Space Centre, the Danish Transport Research Institute and RISO National Laboratory. Before this, RISO National Laboratory was a research institute under the Danish Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation and consisted of eight research departments, biosystems, polymer department, fuel cells and solid state chemistry, materials research, optics and plasma research, radiation research, systems analysis and wind energy. topic history Riso was founded in 1956 but not officially inaugurated until 1958 Niels Bohr played a key role in the founding of Riso and was chairman of the Nuclear Energy Commission charged to promote the peaceful use of nuclear power the mission of Riso was to create new knowledge based on world-class research, and to ensure that our knowledge is used to promote the development of an innovative and sustainable society." From the web page RISO is the site of three research nuclear reactors, Dr. 1, Dr. 2 and Dr. 3. Dr. 3 is a Dido class nuclear reactor. All reactors are shut down and undergoing decommissioning. RISO was in its later years particularly noted for its involvement in wind energy and solid oxide fuel cells. RISO had strong competences in climate change effects studies and had state of the art facilities for realistic climate change experiments and monitoring. These included RERAF RISO Environmental Risk Assessment Facility a phytotron-controlled environment growth facility. Soro Beach Forest. A field station in an 80-year-old beach forest measuring carbon inputs, outputs and turnover processes by advanced techniques e.g. eddy covariance. CLIMAITE – Climate change effects on biological processes in terrestrial ecosystems a field-scale climate change experiment conducting multifactor experiments with elevated CO2, nighttime warming and altered precipitation. The organization employed about 700 staff, 660 person years in 2005. On the 1st of January 2012, Riso DTU was dissolved. The location is now called DTU Riso Campus and is home to a number of DTU institutes. Topic: 
Topic: Collaborators and users. National Environmental Research Institute of Denmark Danish, Danmarks Miljoundersegelse DMU, the RISO area also house National Environmental Research Institute NERI, part of the Danish University of Aarhus. NERI is, "...an independent research faculty under University of Aarhus." NERI undertakes scientific consultancy work, monitoring of nature and the environment as well as applied and strategic research. NERI's task is to establish a scientific foundation for environmental policy decisions. DTU Photonic also use some of the facilities, as a part of the Optics and Plasma Research Department was transferred this institute as part of the merger. WASP Wind Atlas Analysis and Application Program is a tool used in the wind energy industry to simulate wind flow over terrain and estimate the long-term energy production of wind turbines and wind farms. It has been in development by RISO National Laboratory for over 25 years, and runs on PCs using Microsoft Windows. The name WASP is short for WAAAP, W, Summers, and AP, the acronym of the software name. Current version is 12.0. See also List of nuclear reactors 1968 Thule Air Base B-52 crash